So, so long, long ago, when I was a young person, <laughs> I was in an open relationship with a different person. Yeah. Uh, I know where you're sitting, polyamorous people. <laughs> I tried it. It didn't work for me. I was in an open relationship. If you don't know how an open relationship works, uh, nah, she uh, had sex with other people, and I had permission to have sex with other people. <laughs> Wasn't a great deal. <laughs> but I stayed in it, because I loved her. I was out walking around through the city one night, probably because, you know, she had a date and needed the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the blue handkerchief tied to the doorknob, so I'm just out wandering around like a moron. <laughs> Wishing I could find a lady to take advantage of my open relationship with. And I, and I walk across the crosswalk and I look up and this beautiful woman is walking towards me and there's this hint of recognition and she says, Keith. And I realize, oh shit, Jen, who I haven't seen since we were in the early days of high school together. And we had both blossomed into beautiful sexual beings. <laughs> and I, I said, how are you doing, Jen? She said, good, good. I live right around the corner. I was like, oh, cool. She's like, hey, you want to come over tonight and paint my toenails? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and inside my brain's all, we're getting laid. Right? Because come up and paint my toenails. Are you fucking kidding me? That's totally the female version of do you want to come up and see my etchings, right? There's no way I'm mistaking that. I'm being invited to do it, <laughs> you know? And go up and paint her toenails. So I'm all happy that a lot of time comes. I skip on up her stairs and knock on the door. She answers the door and shows me in. And, and she's got like four or five different colors of nail polish to choose from. And she had the little toe separators. And ah, yeah. You got paper towels and everything. So I'm um, painting your toenails. She's all, yeah, I remembered that you were a painter in high school. <laughs> so I figured you'd be real good at it. I have trouble doing it. And I was like, okay, well, I'm getting something out of this. So you're painting my fucking toenails too. <laughs> as soon as I take my shoes off, she's like, you're washing those first. <laughs> so she fills up her old Victorian bathtub and I go in and I put my feet in. So she comes in and she puts her feet in and she puts on some music like, just the most hipster scene you've ever seen in your life. Like the two of us just soaking our feet in an old Victorian mansion that's been cut up into apartments, <laughs> listening to cassette tapes. So I started hanging out with Jen regularly because I could go home from Jen's house with my toenails painted, smelling of gin, having arrived home at three or four in the morning. And my girlfriend would see that my toenails are painted and that I've been out all night and say, where have you been? And I'd say, well, wouldn't you like to know? And I'd turn over and go to sleep and she would at least think that I was getting laid. <laughs> I was at my sexual peak. I had long, beautiful hair. And my big kick was making my girlfriend think I was getting laid. <laughs> that is truly sad. And Jen had this very annoying habit. Jen liked to make me like music I didn't like. <laughs> Some of you laugh with recognition. You know people that do this. Because I like hating music. <laughs> Almost as much as I like loving music. It's a part of who I am. To hate certain things. I go over, she's playing something. I was like, whoa, what is this? Kind of Velvet underground -y sounding? I like. She goes, yeah, it's a Grateful Dead's first album, Dickhead. I was like, oh! Maybe you don't hate him. I was like, no, I do! I do! Stop! Don't take that from me. There's bands that I, I think my hating them defines who I am as a person. Like Kiss. I fucking hate Kiss. I hate Kiss so much. And if you like... Kiss, hang on, I'll have something for you at the end. Because I know it's a real, it's a dividing line. Fuck, I hate that band. And I didn't start off hating Kiss. When I was a kid, I liked Kiss. I had a Kiss skateboard, and I had a Kiss t-shirt. And Then I got old enough, I was like, shit, I should see what they sound like. Because <laughs> obviously they look cool as fuck. 
I'm ready. I'm going to hear some Alice Cooper, maybe King Diamond sounding shit, you know, and get the record out. It's my big moment. I put them on, I hit play, and I hear, I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. What the fuck? Why do they sound like the Archies? What is this bullshit? How do you look like a kabuki demon and spit blood and shit and sing, I'm on a rock and roll all night? <laughs> Fuck you for that. And don't get me wrong, I like the Archies, but they're a cartoon, they admit it. They're, you know, like, there's not this lie. Kiss lied to me. And I hate them, and I will always hate them. And I, and I promised you something for you Kiss fans. I will admit they have one redeeming quality. I was thinking about... I Google Kiss so much that my Google News updates has a Kiss section. <laughs> that Google did that automatically. They're like, this guy really loves Kiss. We gotta keep him updated. Like, I always know what's going on with Kiss because I'm obsessed with hating Kiss. And I was thinking about them one night, like I do most nights. <laughs> and I thought about the fact that these four boys were sitting around, like, talking about how to get their rock band up to the next level. And a, and a nice boy named Gene said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint my face black and white like a dragon demon thing. The other guys are like, what? So yeah, big boots, teeth. I'm going to spit fire. Sometimes catch my hair on fire on accident. Blood. Going to do it. And the other guys are like, oh, yeah. So then the next guy's like, I'm going to be the space guy. I'm going to do like big silver things on my eyes and I'm going to be like, I'm a spaceman. I'm space ace. And Gene's like, right on. And a nice young man named Stanley says, yeah, I'm going to put a star on my eye. I'm going to be the star guy. And then space ace was like, that's kind of already what I'm doing. So, And then he's like, no, it's different. It's more specific. It's cool. It's going to be all right. And before they could get in a fight, the fourth young man spoke up and said, I'd like to be a kitty. Gene says, what now? A cat. I would like to be a cat. Oh, you mean like a tiger, like a badass puma, a black panther. No, a cat. I would like to have a black nose and whiskers. <laughs> Why? Because I love my cat. <laughs> and that story makes me happy. <laughs> so, so thank you, Kiss, for bringing me joy. So Jen and I are there. We're sitting on the old clawfoot tub. We're soaking our feet. And I, some music comes on, and I had learned not to give it up right away. If I liked it, I didn't go, ooh, what's that, you know? But it comes on, it's this acoustic guitar and this haunting vocal lyrics are really dark and beautiful. And I'm listening to this murder ballad, and I'm just like, wow. But I don't say, I don't show any sign. It's like, oh, what are you playing? And Jen's like, why, you like it? I was like, I don't know, what is it? And she's like, no, you tell me how you feel about it. I'm like, whatever, I don't even care enough to fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> the song goes on, and the ending just is like a knife to the gut. It's so beautiful. And I said, all right, I can't take it. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this, my new favorite band? And she turns around and goes, it's Bruce Springsteen, motherfucker. <laughs> The guy whose nickname is The Boss? How can I like anyone who would call themselves The Boss? I don't like my boss. I don't like any boss ever. People defend him by going, he didn't name himself that. His band named him that. Then they fucking hated him. I've never <laughs> called my friend The Boss because he was cool. You know? This is the guy, really the guy whose album cover is a picture of his ass in jeans, right? In front of an American, that's the guy? So, yeah, that's him. I'm like, oh, fuck, this fucks me. I gotta go. I gotta paint your own goddamn toenails. 
I stumble home. I go into my roommate's records. I'm like, I'm putting on some Bruce Springsteen so I can remind myself how much he sucks and hate him. I'll play that Born in the USA song. Can't hate anything more than I hate that jingoistic bullshit. Put it on, drop the needle. Holy fuck, it's a protest song. This is incredible. Oh my God, I love this guy. And Jen was so full of joy that she had taken that from me. She was thrilled. It's just a weird impulse. It, it reminds me of a friend of mine, this guy, Yo Ray. I went to his house. We were gonna go skateboarding. And he throws open the door before I even knock. And he goes, oh, fuck, man, come in quick. You gotta see this porn. And I was like, oh, I didn't actually come to watch porn. And I thought maybe we'd skateboard. <laughs> I, got, I got my skateboard. And this is in the 90s. Like, you couldn't just be surfing the internet and they'd be like, oh, dude, check it out. This chick's farting on a cake. It's crazy. <laughs> like, like, you didn't stumble across weird porn. You had to, like, get it on VHS, you know, <laughs> like, hide it in a special place in your house. And... He's like, no, no, you got to come in, man. This chick's extraordinary. <laughs> and I was like... All right, sh show, me, show me your porn. <laughs> so I walk in, he's got it all queued up to exactly the right spot, which should have been a warning flag. <laughs> he hits play, and she's kind of vamping for the camera, and I will admit that she is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. I'm immediately like, wow, she's an it girl. Like, she has that magic something. She's incredible. She's flirting with me. I'm feeling it. And your Ray won't stop chattering. Is she hot? Is she fucking hot? Yeah, she's very hot. Yeah, you want to do her? Yeah, she, she raises my breeding instincts, you Ray. That's what I'm saying. That's what she's hot means. Calm down. She's hot, right? Yeah, she's, she's hot, you Ray. And then she stands up and takes off her shorts. And she has a penis. And your Ray loses his fucking mind. Ha ha, she's got a dick. You like dick. <laughs> You love dick! And I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't know that about myself. You're right, thank you. I mean, I had my suspicions. <laughs> we all did. But you've, you've proven it once and for all that in certain situations, uh, I, I like dick if it's attached to a beautiful woman. Thank you for that. And, and I knew that I was crushing his world because Yore had worked this out all day and set up this situation. And he was so excited about it because he wanted me to be like, oh no, she has a dick, ah, no, this is horrible. But what he didn't know is the whole time I was just super relieved because I was sure that she was gonna pull out an acoustic guitar and start playing Nebraska. And I'm like, no, it's Bruce Springsteen. Oh, fuck. I wanna fuck the boss. No. No. 